is here with my packages. Oh, no, they not. Yes, they are. Baby, what to do, baby? Y'all, it's so cool to see y'all shopping in real time. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. 14 orders to do? Ah, that is so good. First, cha -ching! like my phone keeps lighting up, and I'm like, who texted me? Just like it's Shopify notifications. And I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. I'm so y'all just dropped off packages at the post office. y'all <laughs> excuse me for looking raggedy and tore up from the flow up but a bitch is tore up from the flow up this week has been crazy but the good news after a long awaited time y'all the goodies they're here they're in those boxes got some boxes over here boxes over here it's boxes everywhere i am so excited and so exhausted the process to get these was a to do basically i placed my order that was supposed to only take five to seven business days mid-october five to seven business days after when i ordered them should have been a pro like the 25th like that's when i was gonna launch it is today is november 16th honey and you know, I've just been working on the back end stuff for a while. So I'm prepared to launch tomorrow because <laughs> I don't want it to like bleed into Black Friday. Like I just want to get it out there and just start working and getting feedback and, you know, seeing my process of shipping and stuff like that. I think I'm launching tomorrow. Like I already have my launch emails listed, the discounts listed and just saying that makes me so nervous. And the other funny thing <laughs> is realizing like I don't have the proper office set up. So I'll probably go to Ikea tomorrow and just get like some tables and shelves and stuff like that. So I got to do that tomorrow. But first, I just want to look at the inventory, make sure everything is fine. Um, go over back end stuff. And I think we're hitting publish on those emails and just going to launch. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit frazzled just because things have, it just hasn't been going according to plan, but that's life, right? You pivot, you adjust and just keep it moving. And while I would have liked to have like, you know, an email sequence, like, okay, day one, they're going to get this email to tease and day two, it's just like, girl, hit publish and call it a day. I've been showing up on Instagram and YouTube and sharing about it. YouTube honestly was the whole marketing plan about it. Um, I'm just going to like record a quick little podcast episode for my audio listeners and then jump off the cliff. Just go for it. Um, you know, I was talking to Will about it. He was just like, Jessica, don't overthink it. Just go. So we're just going to go, y'all. So just hang out with me as I just get everything organized and just try to figure out the lay of the land. I guess this will start a weekly vlog possibly. But I'm so, so excited. I'm just really tired. I've been waking up every day at 4, 4.30 to just do the back end stuff. Everybody's been sick. I feel like I say that every vlog, but seriously, like we all caught colds and the holidays are coming up. I'm hosting things. Like it's just been a lot, but I'm so, so grateful. And I think me trying to do things the perfect way is me being scared. But after that, we just about to hit launch. So hang out with me as we launch something i've been working on for a solid year but something that's been a dream of mine since 2015 <laughs> i can't believe it <laughs>
now what I'm doing is just about to go through the entire website, my launch emails, just make sure that everything is correct and ready to go for tomorrow. I think I'm going to just launch. I already got everything um, prepped and ready to go for the most part. I need to kind of reorganize my little shipping station, but I think we're going to go. We're just going to go for it. So um, this is with the people that signed up for updates we'll get tomorrow. I don't know if y'all can see that. Zoom on in. Yeah. It's like a cute little, let's try to make sure it's not too bright. Cute little launch day email with information, discount code, all my links are correct. And then I have some stuff from Flowdesk that's going out to old subbies, um, not old subbies, but people that's just been around way longer than um, than the new, new folks. So that's all I'm about to do, y'all, is just get everything situated. I got my website ready to go. I just have to remove the password and we in there. We good to go. Um, so yeah, it's an ex exciting time. Okay, up next, I need to just figure out what's going on in this station. This is where some of my packing supplies are. Other stuff is in the closet. So I just basically need to get my life together here in this office. You guys have seen me clean this space up enough. So I will not let you suffer through that. But just know that I'm super duper excited. And we'll touch back in tomorrow to see how launch is going. I'll press launch and We'll do this together. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. It's been a lot, but we out we out here, right? Thank y'all so much. So I'll check back in tomorrow because y'all have seen me clean up a million times. So no need in doing that again. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's a new day. Today is launch day. Um, I had a pretty late night for me. Stayed up to like 11.45. Woke up this morning at 4.30. Looking crazy as per usual. Um, and I just opened the site up so that my family and friends can shop. Um, just because we were kind of nervous like it might sell out. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted them to get an opportunity to shop before I sent out all the marketing emails and stuff. And y'all got some of my first sales. Ah, so sweet. It's just such a blessing to know that you have supporters, you know what I'm saying? And people that believe in a dream with you. Like to hear that first, cha-ching, like my phone keeps lighting up and I'm like, who texted me? And it's like, it's Shopify notifications. And I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Um, so it is, I don't know what time, cause I got food going and the timer on, but I think it's close to nine. Launch is going to start at 11. I'm in mama mode. I got stuff to do, honey, outside of the launch um, before all the official emails go out and stuff. Let's check on these biscuits. We got some hash browns going on. Um, so we're about to eat breakfast together. Then I'm going to get ready, try to get crude, as crude as I can, um, so I can hop on Instagram and YouTube and just tell the people and post everything. Today is so emotional and like the best way to, to hold your dreams in your hands after going through so much, you know what I mean? Not just with this launch in particular and learning the design and hiring the coach, not just that stuff. Just like when I started No Real Jewelry back in 2015, that was my first blog. And then the podcast, I was in surrounded by some really horrible people. <laughs> And they were friends and people I was in relationships with. And this had been a dream then, but letting them just play with my mind the way that they did. You know, I had people, why are you doing that? You always on your computer. That's stupid. It's not, go you know, just, just always kind of planting seeds of negativity into me. And I had to fight through that. So this not only symbolizes just like a new step in my business, but also just me having the confidence to leave those friendships and leave those relationships that I thought I needed. Um, so Jessica, that was like in those manipulative and just draining relationships. 
like from you know five years ago jessica she's looking at me just like girl you did it and i can't help but get choked up about that because i was going through still showing up but when you have people that's pulling you back and dragging you back and making you doubt yourself and you don't have a mental fortitude to say f you until you do it takes a lot out of you um so you know you, you just wish like dang i wish i did this sooner but this was right on time there's no way i could have launched without the unlearning that I had to do, the self-healing, the self-love. So I'm just just really proud of myself. And I'm trying to memorialize this because, you know, I'm like, okay, I launched. Now I got to focus on the digital collection. So basically each month there's a new drop. So December is the digital planners or whatever. So I'm like, okay, on to the next. And it's like, no, be still and celebrate this moment. So thank y'all. I'm going to finish up cooking breakfast. We got bacon, turkey sausage. Got to make some eggs. Um, Will is off for the next two weeks. So Kobe's upstairs. We're just going to kick it and then it's time to get cute and get ready for lunch. So I got cleaned up, put on some earrings, a little bit of makeup, slicked the hair back. Y'all, I thought I scheduled the emails <laughs> for 11 a.m. Kobe just went down, Willis game. And so I'm like, okay, I got a few more minutes. It's like 10.45. Why I just get all the emails? I forgot I set them for 10.45. So apparently we are live. I just need to go on Instagram real quick and post links. And then we'll go check out the live view. Let me show you. Today's outfit of the day. Why do I have to do this now? I don't know. <laughs> but I just got on this cute little hoodie situation from H&M. Some H&M jeans. I got these like statement earrings from Shein. But that's the look. I am totally nervous. I am a wreck. But here we go. We doing it, y'all. We doing it. Hey, y'all. Hey, happy Friday. Y'all, I'm so excited because today is finally launch day. It's been a long time coming. The planners came yesterday and I was going to wait um, to like next week to send out a few more emails. Y'all, we just going to launch today. So if you've been interested in the Big Goals Action Plan 12 week planner, the stickers, the notepad, baby, they're live. Okay, so go get you some real quick. I'm super excited. Thank you in advance for all of the love and support. Let's do this. Okay, y'all, right now we got five visitors on live. We got five total orders. Somebody is all the way in California, Oregon. Where, where that's at? Oh my goodness. How cool is that? I'm so excited. People on my site. So far we've made $335. Holla, holla. That is so awesome. Lord, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all, it's so cool to see y'all shopping in real time. How cool is that? Oh, my goodness. Wow, I'm so grateful. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the like DMs and thank yous are starting to come in. I feel overwhelmed in the best way. Like I'm just shaking. Y'all, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's like, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. I got some orders to pack, that's for sure. So we'll pack some together. Oh, look at that live view. Just also sitting here watching the coasters making sure he's good oh y'all i am ecstatic i'm like shaking like trying not to cry if y'all wasn't here i'd be crying but god is good god is good our store is oh there we did it we 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 did it we did it we did it <laughs> i can't wait to edit this video i'm gonna be like girl what the hell is going on yeah. i am in the car making my way to target because i need a table or two 
um, I did not plan out <laughs> where I was gonna pack stuff and all that jazz and we don't have any like banquet tables in the house so I'm just about to run there then we're gonna pack some orders we got some orders to fulfill um, yeah what's funny is I've been really trying to celebrate every order and enjoy it and here come the devil and the inner critic just like well do you think this is sustainable do you think you, it could always be like this and you know I have a habit of just like waiting for the other shoe to drop and recently I've just been like Jessica there is no other shoe this gets to be fun this gets to be sustainable you get to, you get to make money every day don't let your, the devil your inner critic punk you out so I just wanted to share that before I got going it's just like what if there is no other shoe that'll drop what if it always gets to be good what if it always just gets to work out in your favor that's what I'm choosing to believe are y'all liking these earrings I got these from Shein and I don't know if they're supposed to be like this I like that I don't know but we outside so come with me to Target Okay, so I ran to Target to get just a quick table just so that I could have like a flat surface to box up orders and things of that nature. We're going to go to Ikea later, but I just wanted to try and process. We have about 14 orders to do. Ah, God, it's so good. Um, and the post office closes at 6. It is 3.45, so we're going to do our first set of orders, figure out my process, how I want things set up. So just hang out with me while I do that. So I got this cool stamp that has the logo on there. And we're just gonna put that boop, right there. Unfortunately, it came with like the smallest thing of ink, so you have to just tap it a few times. And I totally forgot to order that on Amazon. So we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. Yeah, baby, what to do, baby? All right, I'm just gonna go through and do the rest. Y'all, look at that. He was not playing when he said he could do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever ask or think. There are still more orders. I'm just telling I've been not sleeping in the whole night. But look at that. Yeah, that was all a John Rain. <laughs> I used to read Word of Magazine. JK, so we'll go in the morning and do that. I'm not waking up at 4 30 bro i just ain't got it in me that's a really good event in our orders the, every time i completed an order another one came in tell me tell me god don't answer prayers just tell me so y'all just dropped off packages at the post office i was gonna try to vlog it but carrying all the boxes and all that stuff was a bit much y'all i'm so emotional it was so cool to drop them off and as i was dropping off i was still getting orders i still got like 15 more orders to do at the house they came overnight so i didn't have time to do it i ran out of boxes the boxes get here tomorrow like this is like some of the best problems to ever have god is good god is good 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 so i dropped the boys off at uh the gym so i think with this hour that i got i'm about to go grocery shopping for thanksgiving day stuff so i'm about to do that and just really thank god just thank god for his faithfulness and favor and you know i started this journey back in 2015 and a lot during that time i'd be like this is all in vain why am i doing this and i'm just so grateful to 2015 2016 2017 jessica that never gave up because now i was able to go drop off some products to ups due to the the loving community that y'all are that had decided to join in this journey but there would have been nothing to join in if she didn't show up so y'all if things aren't popping off the way you want them to now 
it's okay. You know, my mom has always told me for a very long time, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. And not to say I blew up or nothing, but it's just a real full circle moment to be able to, to, to launch something and have a really good response. But I wouldn't have that response if y'all weren't tagging along this whole time. So I pray that that just helps bless somebody that's like, ugh. Because I've been there a time or two, a time of five. So just keep going. Dust yourself off and try again. I got my starve, y'all. This was free with my points. Got venti on these holes. All right, I'm out. Bye. <laughs>
me quiet Cause I had something to say to everybody who wear, wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why wait? Going nowhere special, just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I be 